We will never attack Earth, Captain Frank Bailey roared, slamming his fist on the dashboard of the human exploration vessel as he stared down the looming Cation warship on the viewscreen. The Cation commander Volar snarled, his clawed finger hovering over the weapons control. One push, and the human ship would be space dust. Bailey flipped on the comm channel. You are in direct violation of the Orion Treaty that your people signed, Vola. These coordinates are neutral territory. Stand down immediately or face the consequences. Vola hissed, bearing razor fangs. Filthy humans always encroaching, always expanding, daring to challenge the might of the Cation Imperium. Bailey narrowed his eyes. I'll send you the exact wording and coordinates of the treaty line again, since you seem to have trouble reading lately. Volar roared and moved to fire, when suddenly a massive energy surge erupted from the nebula. It slammed into both ships, disrupting their systems and sending them careening off course. As the vessels drifted towards an uncharted world and system failures cascaded, Bailey gritted his teeth. They were sitting ducks if the Cations recovered first, but if the humans could unravel the mysterious anomaly that had just saved their hides, it could be a game-changer for the tenuous detente with the Imperium. He opened a channel to the Cation ship, swallowing his pride. Volar, looks like we'll have to work together to get out of this mess, or we'll both end up marooned in the armpit of the galaxy. What do you say to a temporary truce until we figure out that energy surge? The seconds stretched like hours until Vola's seething voice crackled over the comm. Agreed, human. For now. But when this is over, the Imperium will teach your kind the true meaning of conquest. Bailey signed off and turned to his crew, his voice grave. You heard him. Whatever's waiting for us down there, we've got to get to it before the Cations do. The balance of power in the whole damn galaxy might depend on it. Prep the landing craft and suit up. We're going hunting. The two ships plummeted through the alien planet's atmosphere, alarms blaring as their damaged systems strained to keep them from burning up on entry. Bailey and Vola gripped the armrests, bracing for impact. The exploration vessel hit the surface first, carving a scorched path through the dense jungle before screeching to a shuddering halt. The Cation warship followed seconds later, crashing nearby with a thunderous boom. Bailey kicked open the warped hatch, plasma rifle in hand, and stumbled out into the eerie bioluminescent jungle. Strange plants glowed with an otherworldly light, and the calls of alien creatures echoed through the trees. The human captain scanned the area for threats, his finger hovering over the trigger. A rustling in the undergrowth drew his attention. Vola emerged from the wreckage of his ship, a crackling energy spear clutched in his clawed hands. The Cation commander surveyed the surroundings, his slitted eyes glinting in the dim light. Suddenly, a massive insectoid creature burst from the foliage, its razor-sharp mandibles dripping with corrosive acid. Bailey and Vola reacted instantly, their survival instincts overriding their animosity. Plasma bolts and energy blasts slammed into the creature's armored exoskeleton as they fought side by side, dodging sprays of acid and slashing claws. With a final coordinated assault, they brought the beast down. As it twitched its last, Bailey noticed a pulsating plant growing near the corpse. He pulled out his handheld scanner and ran it over the strange flora. The device beeped urgently, indicating that the plant emitted the same energy signature as the surge that had crippled their ships. Volar, his suspicion reignited, stalked over and demanded to see the data. Bailey hesitated realizing that this information could give humanity a crucial advantage over the Cations. He shook his head and tucked the scanner away. The Cation commander snarled, his temporary truce with the human shattered. He lunged at Bailey, claws outstretched. Bailey barely managed to parry the blow with his rifle, the force of the impact sending both their weapons flying. They grappled in the dirt, a tangle of human and Cation locked in fierce hand-to-hand -hand combat. As they struggled, the ground beneath them suddenly gave way, weakened by the acidic blood of the insectoid creature. Bailey and Volar tumbled into the darkness, plummeting down into an underground cavern. They hit the ground hard, the wind knocked out of them. As they staggered to their feet, they found themselves surrounded by the glowing plants, their pulsating light casting eerie shadows on the ancient alien technology that lined the walls. Bailey groaned as he pulled himself up, his head throbbing from the impact. 
He scanned the chamber, taking in the eerie glow of the hieroglyphs and the thrumming energy conduits. Vola hissed, his eyes narrowing as he surveyed their surroundings. Look at this tech, Bailey muttered, limping over to the central control panel. I've never seen anything like it. Volar snarled. Of course you haven't, human. Your kind has barely scratched the surface of the galaxy's secrets. Bailey ignored the jab, pulling out his handheld device. He ran it over the strange symbols, trying to decipher their meaning. Vola, not one to be outdone, stalked over to the panel and began pressing buttons at random, relying on his Cation instincts. Suddenly, a shimmering hologram of an alien being materialized before them. It spoke in a language neither of them could understand, its elongated limbs gesturing to the energy conduits, and then upwards, as if pointing to the surface. What the hell is it saying? Bailey muttered, fiddling with his translator. Volar hissed, his claws flexing. It matters not. This technology could give the Imperium the edge it needs to crush your pathetic species once and for all. Bailey's eyes widened as realization dawned. No, you fool. This tech could be the key to fixing our ships and getting off this rock. We need to work together, just until we're back in orbit. The Cation commander hesitated, his pride warring with the need for survival. Finally, he nodded curtly. Very well, human. A temporary alliance, until we are free of this cursed planet. They set to work, Bailey scanning and documenting every inch of the chamber, while Vola used his superior strength to pry open panels and access the inner workings of the alien machines. But as they delved deeper, the chamber began to shake, dust and debris raining down from above. It's destabilizing, Bailey yelled, dodging a falling chunk of stone. We must have triggered some kind of failsafe. Volar roared, ripping a sparking conduit from the wall. We have what we need. Now we must escape before this place buries us both. They raced through the collapsing tunnels, the walls crumbling and the energy fields crackling with deadly power. Bailey's heart pounded as he leaped over a widening chasm, the heat of the energy field searing his skin. Volar, his feline agility serving him well, bounded ahead, his claws finding purchase in the crumbling stone. Suddenly a massive energy surge burst from the conduits, the shockwave sending them both flying. Bailey slammed into the wall, his vision swimming. Vola, his fur singed and smoking, staggered to his feet, his eyes wild with desperation. The exit, the Cation roared, pointing to a rapidly narrowing opening ahead. Move, human, or we both die here. Bailey gritted his teeth, forcing himself to stand. Together they sprinted for the exit, the chamber collapsing behind them in a deafening cascade of stone and sparks. They dove through the opening just as it slammed shut, the force of the impact sending them tumbling out into the bioluminescent jungle. They lay there gasping for breath, their bodies battered and bruised but alive. In their hands they clutched the alien knowledge that could change the course of the galaxy, for better or for worse. Bailey and Vola staggered out of the dark tunnel, shielding their eyes as the harsh sunlight of the alien world assaulted them. Their spacesuits hung off them in tatters, the fabric shredded by the energy blasts and falling debris of the collapsing chamber. Vola's fur was matted with sweat and blood, while Bailey's face was a mask of dirt and exhaustion. They collapsed onto the rough ground, chests heaving as they gulped down the acrid air. Bailey reached for his scanner with a trembling hand, hoping against hope that the alien tech they'd gathered had survived the escape. The device lit up, strange symbols scrolling across the cracked screen. Volar leaned in, his eyes narrowing as he studied the readout. "'It's merging with our systems,' Bailey said, his voice hoarse. "'The hieroglyphs, the energy surges, it's all starting to make sense.' Volar hissed, his claws flexing. "'This power could turn the tide of the war. We must—' A thunderous roar split the sky, drowning out his words. A massive Cassian warship descended from the clouds, its hull bristling with weapons. Bailey and Vola scrambled to their feet, instinctively reaching for weapons they no longer had. The ship landed with a bone-jarring thud, kicking up a storm of dust and debris. A hatch yawned open, revealing a towering figure clad in black armor. Zarkash, the ruthless Cassian warlord, strode down the ramp, 
flanked by a dozen heavily armed soldiers. Vola, Zarkash snarled, his voice dripping with contempt. You disappoint me. Hand over the alien technology and the human scum, and I may consider sparing your miserable life. Volar stiffened, his loyalty to the Imperium warring with the grudging respect he'd developed for Bailey during their time on the planet. Bailey saw the hesitation in the Cation's eyes and leaned in close. I have a plan, he whispered, his breath hot against Volar's ear. The tech, the energy surge, we can use it against them. Disable their ship, buy ourselves some time. Volar's eyes widened, then narrowed. And give your kind the advantage, I think not human. Faley gripped Vola's arm, his fingers digging into the Cation's fur. We don't have a choice. It's either work together or die here on this godforsaken rock. Zarkash's troops fanned out, their weapons trained on the unlikely allies. Vola's tail lashed, his mind racing. Finally, he nodded, a single sharp jerk of his head. Bailey grinned, a feral thing that held no humor. Follow my lead. He raised his scanner the alien symbols glowing an eerie green. Vola placed his clawed hand over the device, the human's armoured glove pressing against his fur. As one, they channeled their energy into the scanner, the alien technology amplifying their combined power. A blinding pulse of energy erupted from the device, slamming into the Cation ship with the force of a thousand suns. The vessel lurched, its hull buckling and twisting as the energy surge ripped through its systems, Zarkash roared in fury, his armor smoking and sparking. The ship listed to the side, crashing to the ground in a twisted heap of metal and flame. Zarkash and his troops, their weapons useless, charged forward, murder in their eyes. Bailey and Vola stood back to back, their makeshift alliance sealed in the heat of battle. They fought like demons, the humans' raw strength and the Cation's feline grace, a deadly combination. Plasma blasts and energy bolts flew, searing the air and scorching the earth. But Zarkash's troops kept coming, a relentless tide of claws and fangs. Bailey and Vola, their bodies battered and their strength waning, knew they couldn't hold out forever. They needed to escape, to get off this planet and back to their ships. Bailey caught Vola's eye, a silent understanding passing between them, they had the alien technology, the key to unlocking the secrets of the universe. But first, they had to survive. Together they charged forward, their battle cries echoing across the alien landscape as they fought their way towards an uncertain future, the fate of the galaxy hanging in the balance. Battered and bloodied, Bailey and Vola staggered up the ramps of their respective ships, the alien jungle echoing with the screams of Zarkash's defeated troops. As they slumped into their command chairs, the adrenaline of battle giving way to exhaustion, a final massive energy surge erupted from the planet's core. The ship shuddered as the alien power coursed through their veins, fusing with their systems in a blinding flash of light. Bailey gripped the armrests, his eyes widening as the readouts on his display surged into the red. The alien tech had transformed his vessel into a weapon of unimaginable power, but even as the realization dawned, a cold dread settled in his gut. In the hands of the Cations, this technology could spell doom for humanity. He punched up a visual of Vola's ship, his finger hovering over the weapon's control. The Cation vessel pulsed with the same eerie glow, its hull shimmering with alien energy. Bailey's jaw tightened. He had to end this, here and now. Vola's face appeared on the viewscreen, contorted with rage. You dare to betray me, human? he snarled, his claws gouging deep furrows into his armrests. Bailey's eyes narrowed. I'm sorry, Vola, but I can't let your kind get your hands on this power. It's too dangerous. He stabbed down on the weapons control and all hell broke loose. The two ships now evenly matched, tore into each other with a ferocity that lit up the sky. Plasma beams and energy blasts ripped through hulls, the vacuum of space swallowing the screams of dying crewmen. Bailey and Vola, their faces bathed in the sickly glow of their displays, poured every ounce of their skill and hatred into the battle. They danced a deadly waltz above the planet's surface, their ships twisting and weaving in a lethal ballet of destruction. But even as they fought, 
The toll of their wounds and the strain of the alien tech began to take their toll. Bailey, his vision blurring and his breath coming in ragged gasps, watched as Volar's ship bore down on him, its weapons glowing with deadly intent. In a final desperate gambit, Bailey slammed his ship into Volar's, the impact sending both vessels careening wildly. They crashed together onto the hull of Bailey's ship, the metal shrieking in protest as they skidded to a halt. Bailey, his uniform torn and stained with blood, staggered onto the bridge, his sidearm drawn. Vola, his fur matted with sweat and his eyes wild with pain, met him halfway, an energy spear crackling in his grip. They circled each other, the weight of their shared history hanging heavy in the air. In that moment, Bailey saw a flicker of the camaraderie they had forged on the planet's surface, a bond born of desperation and necessity. He lowered his weapon, his voice cracking with emotion. Vola, it doesn't have to end like this, we can still... But Vola, his pride and his duty to the Imperium driving him beyond reason, lunged forward with a roar. His spear pierced Bailey's chest, the sizzling energy blade driving the human to his knees. As darkness closed in around him, Bailey fumbled for the self-destruct control on his wrist. He had to end this, to ensure that the alien technology would never fall into the wrong hands. With a final, gasping breath, he activated the sequence. Vola's eyes widened in understanding, and he turned to flee. But it was too late. The ship exploded in a blinding flash of light, the alien technology and Bailey's body consumed in the inferno. Vola, his ship battered but intact, watched from a distance as the fireball dissipated into the void. He slumped back in his command chair, his breath coming in ragged gasps as the weight of what had transpired crashed down upon him. You have reached the end of the story. If you enjoyed this story and want to support us, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel, and for every comment that says 88, I will heart every single one of them. Thank you for your time.